Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Uh, now that we've finished the craft guide series um, that you guys have been watching for the last like month or so, I can finally get started on some of the videos I wanted to make in the meantime um, that I didn't make specifically just because I wanted to uh, pump out the videos that uh, I did, which now that I have, uh, you know, I can move on with my life. So today we're going to be focusing on something um, a little bit different. If you've looked at the title, you know it's the Celestian Spell Elemental Pack. Um, but uh, before I go into that, I do want to say I am really annoyed with King's Isle's Spell Element policy, kind of how they've done it. They've made it so that most Spell Elements come from crowns, and you can get them from um, enemies in the game, but they're a lot more rare, and honestly, I think that they should be much more frequent, because the system is such an interesting system, like, I, I would have loved as a death wizard to have been able to farm a boss in Wizard City and gotten Ghoul up to 160 and 70%, like, you know, before I reached Krakatopia. It would have been really fun. But the problem is, is what they've done is they've made it so that, um, Realistically, the way to get them is from farming bosses and enemies that are later in the game, which I don't think I agree with. Um, that means you need to have like an already like high level wizard to kind of get most of them, which I just don't think is the right way to go about it. But um, one thing that I really disagree with is the spell elements that um, don't have any physical way to get um, besides uh, buying crowns. And that is the spell elements and spells from the spell elemental, uh, the Celestian spell elemental pack. You can see it's right here, 399 crowns. Um, it is expensive. And I will admit that I have spent more than enough money gambling trying to get Ship of Fools. But um, I'm going to go into the different spells, which ones are useful, which ones are not, and um, why this pack has such an appeal despite the fact that it is um, just a blatant like cash grab right um but it does have a lot of appeal um for example on ice wizards they have so i believe it's called celestial intervention now um i don't think that this spell is exactly what it should be because i'll be completely honest it's um i i don't think it's that good of a spell Basically what it is you can see here for four pips you get a hundred health per shield sacrificed max three self So theoretically you can heal someone else in infinite amounts of hundreds per increment um, Or you can heal yourself 300 which I find really weird with primordial You could probably get up a little bit more than that which is interesting i just don't think it's that useful i think this is probably the least useful of all of the spells there and ice wizards probably wouldn't want to go for the celestian spell elemental pack but who would want to go for it is fire why is my camera going out of focus fire balance and death death especially you'll see why but i'm gonna show you the uh spell for fire i don't have it learned on my i don't have a balance on this account so i can't learn it but you can see i have nautilus unleashed here on my fire and i've upgraded it once um because for some reason nautilus unleashed seems to have just the highest drop rate which is really annoying because i really want ship of fools but i haven't gotten it because um I physically cannot <laughs> but anyways this is a five pip spell that does uh, steals one charm and does 400 to 480 damage which with an enchant is around 600 which means it is um, as you can see it's better than meteor strike um, and lesser than Phoenix um, the reason why you'd probably use it over Phoenix is the steal one charm and it also has a really cool animation so um that's Nautilus Unleashed. Um, wh would I recommend going for this on a fire? Probably not. Um, you can make it do a decent amount of damage, but I just don't think it's worth it. Um, it does steal one charm before this spell, if I if I know correctly. Like It steals one charm and then does the damage, which is incredibly useful. Um, it can be, especially on certain bosses. So that's why I would. it's okay to get on the fire. But most likely you might get the if you're like me you'll get the spell element, the spellments for it just by farming for ship of fools which ship of fools is probably the best uh, again i'll go into that later but i'll go over the balance thing first the balance spell is basically spectral blast but a spirit school version of it um which is really cool i think that's a that's a good addition to the game it's a shame that it's 
you know, locks behind um, a paywall, which is just really annoying. Um, you can see here if I go into reagents. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, you can see I have it here. I have 27 of them, which means I can almost unlock the spell. But um, what it does is it is... Um, 400 400 and 400 and then you can pick which path does more damage which I actually really like I think that's really interesting So you can make it say like death has like 500 damage and the other two have 400 or 300 or whatever um, it, You can basically pick which one is the storm and which one is the ice and which one's the fire Which is really cool. I think that that's um, an interesting way that they did it and I kind of respect that uh, the only issue is is they have not uh, added it to the game where you can get it besides Celestian's Elemental Packs. Now, the ultimate reason why you would want to farm for these and the major issue with these is the death spell. Now you can see here, the death spell, I want you to just look at this right for a second and absorb what it is, all right? This is a four pip hit all spell, okay? Do you, you get that, right? It's a four pip hit all spell. For death, who does not have a four pip hit all spell, Dear Knight has been the best thing for the longest time. But now they have a four pip hit all spell, which puts them on level with literally, um, uh, with literally every other school that has a four pip spell. Which for the longest time that's been death's downfall is that they don't have a four pip spell, but now they do, and it's fucking powerful. You can either choose to have it, um, I don't think this is a single hit, because that wouldn't make sense. I think they're both hit alls. I think that's what this icon means, but um, which path should you take? You should very obviously take the top path. This is ridiculous, because 330 damage, that's what at base something like Meteor Strike does, right? Um, it's something what like Deer Knight does, which my my death averages Deer Knight like 2k f when I use it, right? So if I had a ship of fools, I would average 2k, right, with a crit. But the thing is, is that it has a plus 50% healing. So if I'm in a if I'm in a four enemy thing and I do k 2k to all the damages, that's 4k health I get first round, which is insane. That's that's actually insane. It's um, it, it's a really good spell. I mean, um, obviously it, it's like it's not gonna compare to later spells in regards to hitting bosses, but that is insane for questing in regards to death. It has changed everything. This spell has made death if you have it into literally one of the best schools in my opinion i think that death shoots up to somewhere near fire in regards to what school is the best school and i think um i think that's really cool i think that this spell has added that to the game but it's locked behind a paywall you can see i have 13 out of 35 spell elements do you know how many packs i've opened um i think 50 dollars worth potentially $75 worth if I've lost count. That is a lot of money that I have spent trying to get Ship of Fools on my death. Christmas is coming, so I'm going to spend even more money of my Christmas money on Ship of Fools. Literally just Ship of Fools. Now, would it probably be worth it? It depends on your perspective. I think it would. Uh, realistically, it would make my death suddenly a lot stronger. You can see he has a 119 damage at base right now at level 100, which isn't bad. His stats aren't bad in the slightest. I need to get, uh, uh, I need to get um, Malastair robes. But you can see I don't have the worst thing in the world. You can see I have a, I have a ton of things from opening packs just because I haven't, um, I haven't bothered, you know, uh, removing them yet. But you can see like. My wizard would really benefit from this. He has good stats, um, but I feasibly really can't because um, I'm not going to spend literally all of my life savings on um, one spell. Um, I will spend more money around Christmas time, but, um, you know, it's just hopefully I get shipped fools, which 
I'd like to say Ship of Fools has the rarest drop rate out of all of them. Um, I don't know if they've particularly made it this way. If you ask King's Isle, they'll probably say they have all equal drop rate, which is complete bullshit. That's just not true. Um, and it's a real issue. Like, for example, my fire has gotten like a hundred and something Nautilus Unleashed spell elements, right? Um, my ice got the 35 plus 20, so we got like 55 Celestial, Celestial Intervention ones, and I've gotten 27 of the balanced ones, I forget what they're called. But I've only gotten 13 Ship of Fools. There, there's a chance to get 30 as a drop, but I have literally only gotten that on Nautilus Unleashed and uh, Celestial Intervention. Realistically, I should have this by now, but I don't. Um, if anyone who's upgraded it to the max, I don't know how much money you have, but you're insane. Um, as you can see, 275 is like good. That's like on par with Blizzard a little bit better, right? Um, 330 puts that on par with Meteor Strike, which is like the strongest of the spells, right? So the fact that death can go up to that and have the healing bonus is insane. Um, if this is a hit all, 355 to 395 is much better than Meteor Strike. That that would be up to 695 damage with an epic, which is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if that's a hit all though. It's the first time I've noticed it doesn't have the hit all thing here, but I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to look it up. But that's basically my video um, on the Celestial Spell Elemental things. I just wanted to talk about it a bit um, and my thoughts on it. Now. Um, it has been confirmed by um, this guy on Twitter that I follow. I forget what his name is. Should I link him in the description? I might link him in the description. Or who basically um, tells what uh, King's Isle like leaks. Not really leaks, but like um, their thoughts and stuff on what they're doing currently. And one of the plans for this year is to release the Celestial Spellemental things in certain bosses so that you can get them. Um, now that's going to be awesome. It's going to make it so that death realistically needs to farm that boss because ship of fools is a ridiculously good spell for death i mean the the damage it does like it is by far better than deer knight you can see even at base 275 damage is only 25 less damage than deer knight and with the healing and much faster spell time it's just so much more worth it to use that over um deer knight right and then once you upgrade it to tier three it's better than deer knight realistically i mean deer knight has the overtime damage but if you're hitting first round you're probably looking to kill first round anyway right so that's basically my thoughts on it um hopefully ship of fools can um you know can be put into the game in a natural way i would love that um but uh as of right now there isn't a way um i wish there was but basically that's it for this video um i will get ship of fools eventually uh but as of right now i cannot so uh that's it see you in the next video uh if you enjoyed please drop a like hit the sub button i appreciate all the support i've been getting recently uh you guys have been uh fantastic uh i'm up to like 416 subs right now which is kind of crazy never expected that when i started uploading a few months ago again so yeah uh, i'll see you in a future video have a fantastic day